coach Steve Nash met the media moments ago. Michael Grady had the first question. He asked coach about the perspective of the first half. Uh, coach, uh, starting the season, you know, new faces, your first year as head coach. What kind of foundation do you feel like uh, you've been able to set in these first 37 games? Yeah, I think we, you know, I look at it. I think most importantly that we're, we're, we're building a team, you know, we're, we're defining roles and identity at both ends. And uh, the team is bonding and there's a great environment and atmosphere forming. So that, that's the, the review of the first half for me in a nutshell. I think we, we definitely got to continually fight for improvement, um, you know, invest in each other and those bonds and, um, and, and defensively play like underdogs um, because that's, uh, that's something that's going to take us a long way if we can get ourselves to a, a greater level at that end of the floor. Another triple doubles for for James Harden. Can you can you name one thing that really jumps out that he brought to the team that either was missing or hadn't yet manifested itself? Yeah, I think the playmaking is is obvious. You know, he's uh, such a, a brilliant distributor, uh, playmaker, makes the game easy for others and, and makes others better. Um, you know, for me though, the surprise I knew that uh, that was no surprise. What, what's been? A, I don't want to say surprise, but I didn't know what you know, what his patterns of behavior were. And so his leadership, his professionalism, uh, you know, being a good teammate, like all those things, he's been outstanding. So uh, that's been, you know, really incredible to, uh, I think, not only for us as coaches, but for his teammates to have a player that, that gifted, but his, uh, does all those, ticks all those boxes as well. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Steve, at the break, you've had the big three for only seven games. You've had Kevin for just 19 of the 37. So my question for you is, how much better can this team get? We, we can definitely improve. You know, Kevin Durant's one of the, you know, the all-time greats. So to add him to our team will we'll make us better automatically. But we still can improve with our cohesion, uh, that continuity of having uh, hopefully some health for an extended period of time. Uh, we can get better defensively, uh, our understanding and, and um, refining our schemes and, and learning to feel tighter together with them. You know, that's a big part of it, not just knowing what to do, but knowing who you're playing with and how you can communicate and make things easier or more effective. So plenty of plenty of areas to improve in. And that's the fun. That's the fun is seeing growth and seeing improvement. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Steve. Uh, James on on court was acknowledging that he may have tried to do a little bit too much early, uh, causing some of the turnovers. Um, but obviously, he clearly settled in. I'm curious, uh, could you tell how much this was meaning to him and how excited he was to be out there? And did did something that either he something that he did settle him in or something somebody said to him? Or was it just the way the Rockets were trying to trap the ball out of his hands? Yeah. I, you could tell it meant something to him. You know, he, this place is special for James. You know, Houston means a lot to him, the city, the organization, and what he accomplished here with these teams. So, you know, I know it was a big game for him. I was, you know, proud of him for the way he handled it. I think the turnovers in the first half, I don't even know if, you know, you know I want to put all that on him. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes when you're trying to create for your team at the rate that he does, you're going to turn it over. They were trapping a little bit, and maybe it was one or two were careless. We added all up, and there's a few too many turnovers. But he also did a lot of great things, and uh, then finally settled in. I mean, you know, you look at his stat line: um, three steals, a block to go with the triple double. So um, outstanding performance. Alex Schiffer with the Athletic. Hey, Steve. In the third quarter, I want to say it was when the. Rockets were starting to shave off the lead a little bit. It looked like in that timeout, you, you kind of pulled Kyrie aside and had your hands on his shoulders and, and were saying something to him. Was, was the message don't force or stop pressing a little bit, or was it something else you were trying to get across in there? No, I was just checking in with him, making sure he's okay, and making sure he's in the right frame of mind. And um, You know, these are tricky games. The last game before a break, you got uh, a short window to spend time with loved ones for Kai and James. They got to go to All-Star weekend. Uh, you know, it's tricky mentally when you play such an intense schedule and then you, you know, you have one game before you're free and it's kind of like the last day of school. It's hard to focus. And so 
was just kind of checking in and making sure he was okay. And, and you know, he, he, he played well down the stretch and, and uh, made some big shots. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, a uh, similar time frame. You guys were up 23 <clears throat> in the third quarter. Uh, Rockets cut it down to 10, and then you guys extended back out to 18. Uh, same thing happens in the fourth quarter, and the Rockets cut that 18-point lead down to 10, and then you guys just blew it open. Have you seen, I guess, growth in the team's response to adversity, and, and can you just talk about how they've matured in that way over the season? Yeah, I mean, I think... You know, on the one hand, you, you're disappointed that they we allowed them to get back to 10 a couple of times. On the other hand, they they did a great job of extending the lead immediately. We call a timeout, we draw a play, we get a bucket, get a stop, you know, we're, we're back on it. So um, that, it's hard in this league, you know. You play a team, they got nothing to lose. They had eight players, they have total freedom and green light. And they're going to go on little runs when they make shots. And, and they did that. They made their threes tonight. So, um, you know. I'm proud of our group's growth over the first half, and that's one of the things I think we have shown, like overtime the other night against San Antonio. You know, they come back from an eight-point deficit within two minutes, and we could have folded. We came out in overtime, bang, bang, and uh, put ourselves back up six or eight or right away. So, um, you know, it's a great response, a uh, competitive group, and, um, you know, I'm proud of them for that response.